let's talk about interquartal range or IQR. The interquartal range tells us how we spread out the middle values are. It can also be used to tell when some of the other values are too far from the central value, or that is what we call outliers. So the formula for finding the interquartal range is Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. We're just going to find the difference of the quartile 3 and the quartile 1. So let us have this example number 1. The number of nuclear power plants in the top 15 nuclear power producing countries in the world are listed. Find the interquartile range of the data set. Are there any outliers? So the formula for finding the interquartile range again is this. That is Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1 or that is quartile 3 minus the quartile 1. So the first thing that we need to do is to arrange the data in ascending order. Now, the formula for finding the quartile is this. Now let us find the quartile 3. So our i is 3. So this becomes q sub 3 equals 3 times our n is 15. We have 15 number of samples plus 1 over 4. So 15 plus 1 is 16 times 3 that is n 48 over 4 is 12. So meaning quartile 3 is the 12 data. So let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12 data is 33. Quartile 3 is 33. So let us find the quartile 1. So quartile 1, so our i is 1. So we have now 1 times the sum of 15 and 1 over 4. So we have 15 number of samples. So 15 plus 1 is 16 times 1 is 16. That is 16 over 4. And 16 divided by 4 is four. The first quartile is the fourth data. So let us count one, two, three, four. So the quartile one is nine. So to find the IQR, we just need to subtract the quartile three and the quartile one. So 33 minus nine. Now the interquartile range is 24. Now let us find whether there are any outliers. Now again, so take note that our IQR is 24. To find the outliers, we need to multiply the IQR by 1.5. That is now 1.5 times 24. That is equal to 36. So the next step that we need to do is to subtract 36 from the quartile 1. So that is now, so quartile 1 is 9 minus 36 is equal to negative 27. So any data less than negative 27 is an outlier. So there is no data which is less than negative 27, so meaning we don't have an outlier here. So the next step that we need to do is to add this 36 to quartile 3. So quartile 3 is 33 plus 36 is equal to 69. Any data entry greater than 69 is an outlier. So we have data which is greater than 69, that is 104, meaning 104 is an outlier. Thank you.